then I'll choose that. Yeah. Yes, sir. Good. Guys, how are we doing? Uh, good. Thank you. The uh, well, I mean, it was a big win. It was a big win, and uh, told the players before uh, before the game that they, you know I've been away for five days. Jason, Mark, Brett, they've done incredible work. The players have been really good. The thing I missed the most wasn't wasn't the results. Was the was the camaraderie, the banter, and the, the, the togetherness, and, and I thought I thought they showed that incredibly. But I also think that we've set such high standards that we fell below those standards tonight. So I'm I'm a little bit disappointed because I think uh, I think in moments like this you've got to keep keep pushing the level that we can play at. And and I've told them in the dressing room they're brilliant on the wing, great on the spirit. We know that that foundation is cemented now. But we've got to play better. We've got to play play better to get to where we want to get to. And uh, and and it's non-negotiable, non-negotiable that we have to take the ball. It's non-negotiable we have to pass the ball. It's non-negotiable that the final pass has to be better because, you know, uh, that was probably our game that we got away with it. You think about the efforts that they put in put in in Montreal and uh, San Jose, New York, New York City. Tonight was the one that we got away with. We got away with in terms of uh, things went our way, and I suppose we you earn your luck in life, and and I am proud of them, but I also am 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 that type where we want the standards to be better and we want the uh, the passing to be better, and it has to be better. And uh, but it was still a big win. We will get started with questions now. First, Michelle, then Franco, then Ian. Um, Phil, I guess we're all maybe I don't know we're all, but it seems surprising that you wouldn't be happier because your team isn't I know there's seven games left but uh you're in fifth place you move above the playoff line Toronto was one of the hottest teams in the league yeah. um so I'm happy okay but <laughs> I think where where we want to take this football club and where I feel as if this team can go is that I I want better standards I want, I want better football I, I want a better level from them and they all know that it, it's great I asked them the question it, it, do we want better and every single one said yeah we want better there's players disappointed in there which actually fills me with so much uh, happiness that they feel the same as me I'd say less I once played in a game for a team that when we lost we we lost a the game they came in celebrating I was like this is not for me I love it when a team comes in and they've won a game and they fought and they still think they can get better. I think that's that's the profile and character of player that we've brought in. And uh, this team never quits. This team has got an incredible, credible uh, spirit. And it's that spirit that I've missed all week, that that companionship I've missed all week, that that togetherness, the way that they laugh and joke. And there was some, there was some videos from the, the little rondo that they have yesterday. It's our Friday uh, tradition. I was stuck in London watching it crying because that that's what we do. And, and, and sometimes in life you, you, you get jobs that you don't enjoy. You go to work that you don't enjoy. And what I told them tonight is that we all come to work and we love it. And, and it's not classed as work to us because you, you like going to work, spending time with great people, working with great people. And I do feel that something special is happening. And uh, when you have moments like this, you, you shouldn't take it for granted. And that's why I was a little bit hard on them tonight. It says I, I, I want better. Can I ask just one follow-up? Um, the defense really played, I mean, it seemed yeah. like really played well. Um, can you just talk about the, the, the defense? Low, I thought, was the man of the match. Damien Low, I thought, was the man of the match. Uh, you think about our fullbacks playing against two world-class players, I thought they were outstanding. And uh, our first-round draft pick just keeps getting better and better. Uh, I think he's got a massive future. He... he He's the type, Ryan, that when you when, when you select him, he says thank you. When you leave him out, he says thank you. He he's got he's got the qualities of 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 that I really like. He's just he's just a really good kid. And uh we've got a we've got a back four that's likes likes playing together. Kieran Gibbs was really unlucky not to play tonight. We just felt with with Bernadette on that right uh their right hand side coming in on his left foot, it would suit Chris on his right foot. Uh, and I think Chris did a great job. So uh, the defence were magnificent tonight and the keeper. Next question, Franco, then Ian. Phil, it was a, a set piece. Michelle took my, my question on the defence, but you know, it was a set piece that, that won this game for you guys that proved the difference. Um, yeah. Did you draw that up on the way on the plane back or how, how did you guys come up with that? Play? I no, well, well I, I think I get asked about set plays all the time. We, we I think, was it Charlotte game? Who, who did we play before NYC? 
Cincinnati, I think we scored two from a set play, which was a throw-in. And I know you don't count them, but we do. We've scored about five, six goals from throw-ins this season. We work really hard on them, Mark Mason and uh, and the coaches work really hard on them. Uh, we knew we knew uh, we we had to get Motter and Pozuelo on the ball from the set plays, and we did that. And it was a it was a brilliant run. And and Lester's got two in two going two two in two games now, and he's coming back into form. And uh, uh, the first one was slightly lucky, uh, but. Like I say, I think we've rolled our. I think we've had a lot of bad luck against us, and maybe tonight we got a bit of luck. Next question, Ian. Then how you? Thanks, Rafa. Phil, th- this did have the chance of looking like that Cincinnati game, especially towards the end yeah. there when it was end to end. What do you think changed where the defense was able to bend but didn't really break this time? Whereas that Cincinnati game, you left a little frustrated. Well, I think I think at halftime, I definitely thought we needed a third goal because I felt this could be four three five four or or Cincinnati type level. The one thing that was probably in our favour is that it was their third game in the week. Their energy levels dropped and it meant that we could be really disciplined. We, we, we toyed with going to a back five, but that would sink us back in even further. We kept with a back four. We went with five in midfield. And uh, I felt every time, every time that they had an attack, it was in front of us rather than behind us. And every time there was a cross into the box, we had, we had, we had, big guys in there to head it away and and I thought that they just ran out of energy towards the end that's why they made the two substitutions so uh, that helped us we knew it was their third game in the week we knew the likes of Insigne Crescito and uh, mm-hmm. Bernadette they probably never played three games and then come you know the two games and come down to Florida and played in this heat so that that takes getting used to so uh, we 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 sunk in there we we, we, we decided from about 73 minutes we were just going to, you know, dig in, counter-attack. We had some really good counter-attack moments, but uh, just like that bit of quality. Next question. Coach, have. you've mentioned that the substitutes as winning some of the games and being very important. But in today's game, it seemed like when um, Bryce and Emerson came in, the flow of the game went down and they were very erratic today. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, I think... It's really difficult to come into some games uh, and just get up to speed. And uh, Bryson and, and Emerson, it, they came on at that point where we, we were counter-attacking, but we weren't keeping possession of the ball. Bryce never had any moments to show you know, what he could do. And really what they were doing, Emerson did a great job defensively, uh, carried the ball upfield for us. But you know when he carried the ball up, he was literally against like three or four men and, and we didn't get enough quality support to our counter-attack movements and like I say I think it got to literally 73 minutes and we were we were camped in we were disciplined we were concentrated we knew we would have to do that at some point and uh really you know you gotta say they didn't really have any shots on goal apart from a couple of long-range shots it's not as if they carved us open so you know even though they had a lot of possession it was in front of us they never created anything in the game apart from Bernadette coming in or, or Insigne coming in, and we blocked everything. And, uh, you know, that, that was good. The young players, the young players, and, uh, you know, got to give them time. All right. Thank you, coach. Is that it? Oh, wow. I'm American, guys. You are. Wow. Are you friendly? Yeah. You know, you know, this morning I had eggs and I put fruit on my plate. That's proper American. Isn't it? First time ever, I just put my pineapple, because Chris Henderson has pineapple. I said, Chris, get that pineapple off that eggs, you know? This morning, I put pineapple on my eggs. Oh. Oh, I get thrown out.